What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Via Michael Benson, it says Deontay Wilder on how he will react if he beats Tyson Fury. Quote, any of you haters, any of you ones that have switched up, don't come to me. Don't shake my hand. Anybody that touches me, I'm going to take it as an, insult, as an assault and I'm going to have to defend myself. <laughs> Those are the words of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Let me counterpunch. First off, uh, I don't know what he meant by switch up. Um, because I think in last year's times, when Wilder took the defeat, I think maybe he might have been confused with the people that were fans of him, but didn't necessarily believe necessarily believe that or believe the accusations. Is that who he's talking about? Because um, if he's mentioning haters, the same people that I've seen ride with Wilder, rode with Wilder, and still riding with Wilder. I mean, I've seen some people fall off, but then, you know, uh, it's very little. Because if you were, here's the thing, if you were a fan of Deontay Wilder before the Tyson Fury fight, chances are you're a bigger one now, especially if you believe the accusations. See, here's the thing. When he says any of you haters or any of you ones that have switched up, the only thing that I can gather from him saying that or, or who he was referring to is the people that um, didn't believe the accusations. OK, not is he a good fighter, not is he a knockout artist, not a, can he come back? I don't think that that had anything to do with it. I think that Deontay Wilder kept quiet for a long time. Secretly, he pulled the strings, maybe yes or no, who really knows that. I know a lot of people that was pushing at a lot of channels that was pushing that Tyson Fury is a cheater and that he was a cheater before. So he's a cheater now by default and therefore you know, people made videos about him. So then he came out later in the year and said everything and agreed and coincided with everything that all these channels were saying. Now, if he was referring to the people that did not believe that he's 100% talking about me, okay? Because it's not the fact that he could do better or that he, you know, could rise again like the Phoenix in the ashes, I think it was more on you need to believe that he's a cheat and you need to believe that Tyson Fury didn't beat me. And if he did, if you don't believe that he isn't a cheat, or should I say, if you don't believe that he is a cheat, rather, fuck you. That's what I'm getting from this. And then if you come to him trying to congratulate him, he won't accept your congratulations to him. And if you touch him, he's going to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> he's going to do some Mike Tyson like stuff to you because, you know, he didn't feel that you were for him then. But the only thing that we could gather is that is the fact that he accused Tyson Fury of cheating. So I think if you don't believe that, I think that's the case. I will ask around, you know, do some digging and, and ask what he really meant of that. But reading this right now is to all the people that didn't believe in him or this, that, and the other. You know, I mean, that's what he called haters. Any of you, the ones that switched up, don't come to me, don't shake my hand. Okay. So, cause he won't, he, he won't uh, appreciate that. And please don't touch him. And because, you know, I, I look at a person, if he's very violent, who's See, the bad thing about being that violent and being that vengeful is it might not end after the fight. Even if he gets his revenge, revenge is a bad thing to start consuming because if he does knock out Tyson Fury, he might turn into a monster. Not only is he, he would just be angry as shit all the time, but he's got confidence in a negative way. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, so... If 
he has people that like him because he's to the point now, I feel. Wilder's at a point now. If you don't like him, go jump in front of a bus. You know what I mean? I think that's where he's like. And then, and you know, and please don't. He's not approachable. That's what I'm also getting from that. Don't approach me. Especially if, you know, you heard things or you've seen things that, you know, I didn't like. But I think all that really arrived to the fact that, you know, I don't think he cared about what you think he's improved on. He doesn't care about what he's practicing on. He doesn't care about your words or that. He just looks at you as a hater because you don't believe that Tyson Fury uh, uh, cheated him, that he was done wrong in that second fight, that maybe the crab in the barrel referee or the drunk referee or the envious coach, his co-trainer, Mark Breland, did this and helped do this to him. If you don't believe all that, this is what I'm gathering from this people. That means you are a hater. I could be wrong, uh, but that's what I get. And that's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think about Deontay Wilder's. If he wins, don't come to me comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.